I love looking at the night sky. It's not just planets and stars, it's also satellites that we've put up there. And orbiting the Earth right now is the Hubble Space Telescope. And it's made what I think is one of the most profound, beautiful and exciting images I've ever seen in astronomy. What it says to me is how distant galaxies are warped and stretched into thin arcs. It sheds light on one of the strangest invisible aspects of the universe, dark matter. And with my research, I'm on a journey to discover where the dark matter is in the universe and how it shaped galaxies like our Milky Way. Here are lots of distant galaxies, but one of them looks much brighter. Why is it brighter? It's because of the effect of another closer galaxy. Here is a faraway galaxy, here's us, and let's put a galaxy in the foreground. This foreground galaxy, like all matter in the universe, is warping the space around it so it distorts our view of the background galaxy, making it seem bigger and brighter. We call the effect of the foreground galaxy a gravitational lens. And there's more foreground warping if there's more foreground matter. And there's so much warping that there has to be lots of extra matter, invisible matter, which we call dark matter. Here at the Open University, we led an international team that pioneered a spectacularly fast and efficient way of finding these gravitational lenses. With gravitational lensing, you get two things for the price of one. You get a beautifully bright image of the background galaxy, and you get to find out where the foreground dark matter is. There really is no other way of finding this foreground dark matter. This is one of the first gravitational lenses we discovered with the Herschel Space Observatory. To Herschel, it's just a fuzzy blob. So we followed it up with ground-based telescopes in Hawaii, and we discovered a foreground galaxy, that's in blue, warping a background galaxy around it, which is pink. Using this technique, we've roughly doubled the number of strong gravitational lenses that are known. And I found that using the Euclid Space Telescope from about 2020, we'll be able to discover strong gravitational lenses in far greater numbers. Having lots of gravitational lenses means we can track the evolution of dark matter through the universe. And dark matter is most of the matter in the universe, so it profoundly changes how galaxies like our Milky Way evolve. And that's why I find the hunt for dark matter so important.